Hello, my fellow comic book collectors, it's Alan, the Comic Collector Geek, and this is part one of this new new unboxing. I am, I'm going to call it the, um, I don't know, the Something Cool Unboxing. So Something Cool Unboxing, that's what this series will be. I think it's going to be about 14 or 15 parts. We'll see how many parts it is at the end, I don't know. But I'm going to show you what's in this little stack, and it should be some pretty cool books. Uh, first, we're going to start out with the little series that I bought, uh, just because I thought, hey, this is kind of an interesting one. I went sort of down this weird uh, rabbit hole of um, Boris the Bear, and uh, Boris the Bear had a squirrel that was with Boris called Wacky Squirrel, um, and um, <laughs> I basically bought the, a collection of Wacky Squirrel. So I'll show you the collection here. One sec here. This one has like some tape on it. So we got Wacky Squirrel number one. The summer special. So I guess Wacky Squirrel is quite violent and crazy. <laughs> I think that's, is that Boris the Bear there? Oh. He, in his own books. Oh no. <laughs> I think that's Boris down there. Uh, and this is very Boris-like. Uh, we got Wacky Squirrel. This is actually Wacky Squirrel number one. And it's like kind of making fun of Boris the bear a little bit. So you got Wacky Squirrel in cover over uh, the Boris the bear. And Slaughter's Teenage Radioactive <laughs> Black Belt Ninja Critters and but he just changed it to bear. <laughs> so kind of a crazy, crazy uh, comic. Uh, this is from 1987. So uh, that's number one. We got, uh, we got Wacky Squirrel and the Halloween Adventure number one. With Mr. Monster. And this one's actually really cool. This is like an homage to um, Adventure Comics number one. It's kind of fun. Uh, this is Wacky Squirrel number four. And what else? There should be more. I think there was more. I thought it was the whole collection of Wacky Squirrel. One sec here. They got a little bit mixed up. One sec here. Hopefully I can find the rest of them. Hopefully they didn't get mixed in with other comics. Oh, it looks like that's all the Wacky Squirrel in this one. <laughs> so we went from Wacky Squirrel. Now we're going into um, some Matt Baker. <laughs> so we went from Wacky Squirrel to Matt Baker. I don't get how that works, but that's how it does. This is one of the few covers um, from classic comics that featured the artwork of Matt Baker. So this is Matt Baker cover. It's the first printing. Um, this is one of those ones that you have to kind of be a little bit careful because there were multiple printings and this is the first printing. Uh, the later printings, uh, they would change it to Classics Illustrated. This is the Lorna Doom cover. Just a really great Matt Baker cover. And this one's actually higher grade than I thought it was going to be. It's quite nice. Uh, and this is a really interesting series. I actually trying to find uh, other issues from this series. This is Alice in Wonderland, but it's just out. It's just called Alice, and this is number ten, which is actually the first issue in the series, um, or number eleven, I should say. I think this. I'm pretty sure this is the first issue. It might be number ten is the first issue, but but this is just a fun one. Um, so Alice, I think it, it is number ten is the first issue. So this is the second issue. <laughs> Sorry. Um, but yeah, just a really cool series series by uh, uh, Ziff Davis. Uh, they they produced a lot of really great comics. Um, highly underrated, uh, like publisher. This is uh, Alice. And the giant who loved coffee in a okay. The giant who loved co a coffee and the flying saucer. Okay, very interesting. And. Then we have some mystery one. Let's see what this one is. DC Universe Presents. Let's see what this is. Sounds interesting. It's well wrapped. Okay. Kind of like 
that. Okay, these ones are not bagged and boarded, which is annoying, but they are well kept, preserved. So these are DC Universe Presents um, Challengers of the Unknown. So we got numbers. Yeah, I gotta do this with two hands. Challengers of the Unknown, known, <clears throat> unknown number six. And the reason I wanted this one, and I'll show you in a second once I get to it. And then we got number five. And I think I paid ten dollars for this set. Number five. And then we got number four. These are all like dead man ones. Number four. I, and number three. Dead man is actually a pretty cool character. Um, I guess they're planning to do something with Dead Man, from what I heard. But this is the one I like. <laughs> so I collect Infinity covers, and this is a really cool Infinity cover in an odd way. Um, so we got what happens is he's like kind of like spewing out himself, <laughs> and then it's like an Infinity, almost like a fractal. So this is Dead Man number two. This is the only reason I bought this collection was I wanted this one. And it was actually cheaper to buy the set of books than it was to buy this one book. So I was like, oh, well, hey, why not? So um, so that was Dead Man number two. I thought that was a really cool one. So we got Dead Man number one. Now, I haven't read this series. Actually, I might even read this series. I, I, I like the original series of Dead Man. So this might be cool. So we got uh, DC Universe Presents. I'll have to bag and board those. It's kind of frustrating. I don't like when people don't send things bagged and boarded. It really bothers me. Um, some more non-bagged and boarded comics. And these ones are actually quite cool. Um, sadly, not bagged and boarded, though. Uh, we got DC's Who's Who. I believe this is number... What number is it? Volume number 18. Okay, so this is a key. So you want to find this one. If you're going to look for um, DC's Who's Who, um, try to pick up number 18. And the reason being, inside, and I'll show it to you, if I can get it out. They taped it quite well. I'm just going to remove the tape. I don't want to get a tape pull. Remove the tape. Uh, put extra tape on there. If you open it up, you'll see why it's a cool book. Okay, so this is it. DC's Who's Who. Actually has Phantom Lady on the background. The girl in the yellow is Phantom Lady. DC modernized her. And inside, it's kind of like a little portfolio of the different characters. And it shows all the different characters and the artists that drew them, or the artists that drew these versions of them. One sec here, I gotta find it. <laughs> yeah. And you got this really great one right here of Phantom Lady. And if you can see, I don't know if you can see that at the very bottom, says who the artist is, is Dave Stevens. So Dave Stevens, um, uh, Phantom Lady. Now I'm a big Phantom Lady fan. Uh, the original Phantom Ladies were uh, more Matt Baker, um, but then Adam Hughes did uh, Phantom Lady. A bunch of really uh, well-known artists <laughs> put their little spin on Phantom Lady. But that was uh, Dave Stevens' uh, version of Phantom Lady. Now the next book that I got, is volume number seven. I believe there's something in this as well. I'll show you the back because these are really great covers. Got a, lot, a lot of characters. And again, I believe there's some more Dave Stevens art in this one as well. I might be mistaken. I was trying to get all the different ones that had Dave Stevens art in them. And when people know that they, these can go for, you know, 10 to $15, dollars, not super expensive. But if they don't know, you can pick them up for a dollar or two. <laughs> They're usually dollar bin kind of books. Um, 
actually a really nice dream girl. Uh, some really great artwork inside these. Yeah. This one has a really great dolphin by Dave Stevens. So that's Dave Stevens' dolphin. I really like Dave Stevens' artwork, so I try to find uh, these little special uh, artworks by a different artist. So this one is number seven and number 18. So those are the two, uh, two of, I think there's like four different ones within the, the title that have Dave Stevens' artwork. So something to look for uh, when you're uh, hunting through uh, <laughs> um, who's who, usually in the dollar bin. Like these are ones that are often in the dollar bin. Okay, the next one is uh, Laugh Comics. And this is just a really cute one. Um, uh, I picked this up really cheap. 30 or 40 dollars it was um considering it's a golden age uh archie uh it's laugh number 40 it's just a really cute one uh gee you're the most beautiful girl in all riverdale betty arc that's what he tells all the girls arc <laughs> so just really cute little you know gag um i really like uh some of these uh good girl covers uh from the archie comics and speaking of good girl, <laughs> this one, not so, um, this is an Arthur Adams cover. And just a really great one. Uh, I believe this is uh, Deja Thoris. And uh, they put a little, they did my work for me. I don't have to finger censor like I normally do. Um, but this is the nude version of this uh, classic uh, <laughs> Arthur Adams cover. Uh, just a really great one. Um, it's just one I, you know, I saw it, I picked it up. It was originally, they wanted $25. I offered 20 and they said, sure. So it was not too bad. Um, next one is Speed Comics. And I believe, I'm not sure if this is, it's probably Leah Elias or somebody like that. Wait, what does it say? I don't know. You can read this. I'll, like, I'll let you guys read it. It says right there. Lee Elias did a lot of the covers for um, Black Cat, but if you can read it, I can't read it. <laughs> it's too small. Um, I'm not sure if it's his work or not. Um, this is Speed Comics number uh, 40. I just thought it was a great one uh, with the Black Cat on it. Uh, she's all tangled up in this octopus. I've been collecting Black Cat lately, so... Um, I just thought this was a great one. I just like this kind of tentacle thing going on. <laughs> um, tentacle bondage. Uh, so just a really fun one. Underwater cover too. And she even has the bubble helmet around her mask, which is just extra special. So uh, Speed Comics number 40. These are, I don't know why they're bagged like this. It's just like random <laughs> the way that these um, books have been put together. But um, you know, there's some cool things. This next one's a, a really cool one. Um, I forget who the artist is, but I believe that they are artists that doesn't normally do comics. They are more known for doing cards. Um, maybe it says on it. A variant cover by Yoshi Taka Amand. It's just, it was just, this was a hot one for a while. Um, I, I, I saw it actually at my local comic shop and they wanted like crazy money for it. <laughs> I was like, oh, I'll look for it online. So I managed to find um, a vendor online that had it for a reasonable price. I think it was like $20. Um, so I thought, oh, sure, why not? Uh, but this one had been really, really hot because this artist is really popular. And the price was like a couple hundred bucks at one point. It was just went through the roof. And, um, you know, when when the heat kind of disappears, when it stops appearing on the hot list, then that's a good time. Like wait a few more months. And then usually the price kind of returns to somewhat normal. Uh, and then this one kind of did return to normal. But it's uh, just a really interesting cover. Very um, gothic. Um, just really interesting. So I, I really liked it. So. I wanted it, but didn't want to pay the crazy price. 
this next one is interesting. This is a set. Uh, it was two comics uh, that kind of go together. Let's see. And it's uh, the Betty and Veronica. And it's like the copper tone, <laughs> like the copper tone ad. And the, the cat and the dog are kind of pulling at their uh, clothing. Just thought it was really cute. These are like some, I think it's like limited to like 50 or something like that. But these are just some really nice ones. And some modern stuff. So a little bit of, we're getting all over the place. It's modern, copper age, <laughs> golden age. It's all over the place. But I thought these ones were interesting. And, okay, this next one, I have no idea what this is. Okay. I tried to pre-open most of them so that it wouldn't be too much of me actually like unboxing things but I did miss this one so sorry about that <clears throat> and if you're wondering my voice is a bit sore <laughs> I've been running around all day so um, that's why I'm very quiet so I apologize for the sound if I'm too quiet I'm sorry uh, but yeah it's just because my my throat's a little sore but uh, let's just see if I can get this one out reasonably quickly, hopefully. I'm getting better at pulling off tape. You know, you, it's an acquired skill after a while. Oh, shoot. Uh, I was doing really well up to that moment. Okay. Oh, okay, this is a cool one. I think somebody, uh, I think I got this from uh, somebody on Instagram. I forgot who sold me this. They said, oh, would you be interested in this? And they gave me a really good price. I thought it was reasonably good price. So I thought, why not? Okay, one second. Let me see. Okay. Yeah, it was like 30 bucks <laughs> or 25 or something like that. It was really cheap. Um, but it's um, Patsy and Hetty. And this is, uh, you know, Patsy Walker and Hetty, Hetty, Hetty Wolf. Um, but just a really great good girl comic and uh, they knew that I collect good girls so uh, I thought this one was really cute too um, poor Patsy she must be simply mad with jealousy and then poor Hetty wait until she sees what she's been posing for <laughs> you know it's like <laughs> so really cute he's just focused on the apple I don't know what's wrong with the guy but oh well so just a really cute one And the last book is an interesting one. This one is a spec book. I don't usually um, show much spec books. Well, what am I talking about? I show lots of spec books, but okay. Well, this one is a bit of a spec book that is um, really popular right now. I mean, this is like, so what happened was, um, I forget which Comic-Con, I think it was like one of the big Comic-Cons like San Diego or one of those ones. Um, they had uh, the Marvel, um, you know, kind of like Marvel uh, Studios kind of promoting the latest movies that are coming up. And uh, they had a whole bunch of people up on stage. And they were all dressed like Doctor Doom. And then one of them kind of stepped forward and he took off the mask. And when he took off the mask, you could see that it was Robert Dan Downey Jr. So he is going to be the next Doctor Doom. Well, because of that, there was a huge amount of spec around this book. Huge. This was the book. This is the book that you're supposed to get if you're interested in that Doctor Doom plus Robert Downey Jr. spec. And it's Exiles number 23, where you get the... The mixture of Iron Man and Doctor Doom. <laughs> so, um, just that, and it's the first time that um, Iron Man dons the Doctor Doom mantle. It probably won't be a thing, but it, this was a, this was kind of a hot book for a while, and so I, I saw it for like ten fifteen dollars. So I was like, ah, <laughs> why not? It's actually a pretty cool cover too. So uh, this is Exiles number 23. 
So that was, those are the block, uh, books, very random, a little bit random this time, but you'll see. But it's, you know, uh, this one, the quality is going to be more like the golden age part for the rest of the videos. <laughs> um, there are some, still some modern ones left, but not much. It's mostly golden age from here on out. But um, stay tuned, there are some random books that are thrown in that are actually really cool. So um, hopefully, hopefully you enjoyed this video, and um, if you have enjoyed um please give me a thumbs up and also check in the link in the description um for the cbca awards i'm nominated for best unboxing videos so if you like my unboxing videos well this is the time to vote for me and help me out so again thanks for watching bye for now